Hi guys, what's up? This is Ura, and this is the second video about Webpack. Today we're going to create a Webpack config file which overrides some default settings and we can write our own settings like what should be the entry script, what should be the output and so on. The default file name for Webpack config is Webpack config.js. Uh, of course, you can uh, name it differently, but in this case, you need to specify uh, when you when you're building what is the where is the config file located. My con Webpack config file syntax is the following: you need to export a uh, Webpack config object from using module exports. The very simple Webpack config file. Uh, we'll say that uh, my entry script is under source app.js. Uh, here we need to start from current directory. I think I mistakenly created my webpack config under source folder, so I'm going to move it up. Okay, now when I run npx webpack, this will give me an error. Because webpack automatically re found that there was a webpack config.js file and uh, read that the entry script is under source app.js and I don't have app.js here. So I'm going to rename it as app.js and I run it and it reads the app.js and creates a build. If you want to name your webpack config file differently, like uh, my webpack config file, then you need to specify also where is the config file. If I run it like this, this will give me also an error that it could not find index.js under source folder. Uh, but if I specify my config file location, which is my webpack config.js, this works fine. If you want to change the output for folder or the output file name, we need to specify output in my webpack config file, uh, which is an object and it has path there, which is a directory where the uh, final main.js should be created. And I can call it build. And when I execute, my MPX webpack, it creates. Yeah, one thing is that the path should be an absolute path. So specifying like this uh, doesn't work. Uh, let's see what happens if we specify like this. We still have an error and it says that we need absolute path. I'm going to use path module, which is Node.js built in module. Const path is require path and my builder directory will be path resolve from current directory build. Now if we run our mpx webpack uh, it will create this build directory and we have main.js inside build directory. If I want to rename my main.js, I can specify a file name here, which will be app.js, for example. So my uh, source, my entry script is app.js under source folder, and my uh, output script is called app.js also under build folder. Output has much more options in its object. Uh, you can find the link about um, output in the description of the video, and I really encourage you to uh, read more about uh, how about Webpack config file, Webpack config file in general, and how you can customize your output. If I want to have multiple entry scripts and build them into separate uh, files. Then I'm going to specify object here in entry. The key in the object is the name of final build file and the value is the source file. I'm going to call up.js 
as a final file and up to JS. And I'm going to create also up to JS under my source folder. And it's inside my Wepa config file, I'm going to also remove file name because that's a file name for a single entry script. So if we are building multiple entry scripts, then these keys will be file names. So let me delete my build and dist also. And I'm going to run this. Okay, here's my build and I have app.js and app2.js and they are built independently. Common practice is to have multiple configuration files for different environments. I'm going to copy my config file and call it webpack config prod. So whenever I run npx webpack, it uses my webpack config JS file, which is for development. And whenever I run npx uh, webpack with minus minus config webpack config prod JS, this will use my production file. Now I need to configure my uh, development and production files. I'm going to specify mode option in my webpack config JS as development. And in production, the mode will be production. So this warning will be completely disappeared whenever I run it for production or development. You see, I don't have this warning anymore. Additional thing, except that the warning is disappeared, is that whenever my mode is set to production, my JavaScript is minified. And when I have it for development, I have unminified version. So lastly, I run npx webpack, which, is, uh, which uses default config file, and we have development there. So my JavaScript file is unminified. I can read it. Now, if I run it with production config file, I will have minified JavaScript version. I can also specify in my webpack config JS, which is for development, whether I want to enable source maps or not. In config, webpack has dev tools. And if I specify source maps here, and I run it npx webpack, uh, map file will be created. Uh, I think I have a typo. Dev tool is source maps. Right. And map file was created. It's not convenient to run npx webpack with config file every time when we want to run it for production. That's too long to write. I'm going to introduce npm scripts. In package.json, when we initialize the uh, package, npm automatically created test script under scripts object. In this object, the key is the script name and the value is the correspondence command which should be executed when this script is executed. So I'm going to write build script, which corresponds to npx webpack webpack with minus minus config webpack config prod js and i'm going to create second script for development also build dev this corresponds to npx uh, npx webpack without config file because that's the default config file now when i execute npm run and the script name build or build dev, this will run behind npx webpack with config file. Now my main JS is built as a minified version because we run it um, as an npm build. If you run npm build dev, this runs behind uh, with development config file 
and my main JS will be unminified version. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to see how we can import CSS and other assets in our project. Please click on subscribe and like buttons if you like the video. Thanks for watching again. See you in the next video.